Okay, hello. Um, welcome to another um, on deck. On deck. Um, this is a new box. This is a new um, car deck. So this is a new on deck, and I want to say Merry Christmas to each and every person out there. Thank you. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for um, really being back. Um, these unboxing or on decking unboxing that I do is to basically make um I do them to help starseed people and all these people that is bringing out the boxes because um, um, we need to work with them so um, you know thanks to the person who make this and this is Patricia Colery and Aliasa um, Bartia Thank you so much. Um, this deck, I just, just, um, it was, um, I was doing the year <laughs> readings, and um, it was one night that I just wanted to, whoo, so I always listen to Wendy. Yeah, Wendy Williams. That's one of my favorite things, and one of my favorite persons, but um, I always listen to Wendy and then I'll just browse the internet I'll just see what's the new card deck is coming up and I found this deck which is so beautiful um, I was blown away because of Syrian the Syrians okay Syrian star seed star deck so you know this is going to be a deck that is going to be touching the hearts of uh, the serious people because um, there is a star system series and that is an I um, technology stars um, um, solar system series and there's a lot of things on YouTube so if you want to find out if you're a star seed from Siri um, always go on YouTube and uh, you know you can type in series and find it now this is a new deck apparently it is a 2000 and uh, 18 deck because I was looking for 2018 deck is the body mind and, and spirit new thoughts and I, I, I love on conventional deck that's that that's how I am this is how the deck looks this is a box okay very nice my old thing was that I got it this morning and it was not in a plastic it was just open like this but the in hold um, which have a book the book comes with it this is what it looks like and the cards are huge <laughs> and we have this is what it looks like starseed isn't this beautiful I haven't to unpack it because I decided to just do the video and unpack it so you and I will see it at the same time so this is a Christmas gift I love this um, before I started my spiritual journey I'm always drawing three hook like I will be in my office on the telephone and I'm drawing triangles I'm always drawing triangles and I never knew what that was and then when I started my spirituality <laughs> that I realized it's a three hook three 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 um, and um, it's a protection mechanism okay so I'm always drawing three hook if it's not a square it's always um, a, um, a triangle and then I realized why I was doing that because I was on the telephone listening to someone and I was researching something and I'm listening to the person so I'm just drawing a lot of triangles never knew why which is good because um, then I connected um, and found out what the back of the book and this was so beautiful because I saw this indigo I was listening to some stuff and I saw this little child how beautiful he is and the different colors around him and I realized that that was an indigo person and it was so beautiful and I thought I have to get myself this and uh, for the reading in January so um, and this is how I did it divine justice justice comes up as divine justice and the indigo child and this is good because what you're going to be realizing is that a lot of these decks are going to start coming out now a lot of these decks are going to be start coming out now and it is because um starseed children are being awakened starseed people are being awakened starseed 
uh, the star seeds have been awakened okay because there were star seeds because um, I'm a star seed but I'm a multi-dimension I can work with all the star seeds people okay I connect with all the star seed people so I'm multi-dimension but I'm also a star seed person okay so this is why um, but it's a beautiful beautiful book so we're going to be unveiling and the first card as you can see is star seeds so congratulations to all the star seeds and I used to when I started um, doing my YouTubes what I usually do is um, basically say hello into galactic and family and I'm gonna go back doing that because um, as of 2019 um, a lot of people are going to start seeing your star seeds family comes coming in okay so um, they are not eat well you can call them ETs people still call them ETs but they're your star seed family okay you're they're your star seed family so um, you're going to be more connecting the year 2019 is going to be a powerful year I have to give that video after this about what to expect in 2019 but a lot of people are going to be connecting with their star seed family and this is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring and happening is that you guys are going to be aligned and aware that not all of you are from hurtlings which um, um, the people the light workers um, know where they're from and that sort of a thing but people are going to be waking up in this year okay so I'm gonna take my glasses off I have open it so we're doing this together because um, I want this video to get out because I help people um, basically who makes these decks um, to really 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 um, let other people know about this deck. it's a huge deck <laughs> it's a huge deck so um, yeah okay okay that's one of my thing I don't know why it's so huge um, but I would like a normal but this is cool I love this okay so the first one we have is star seed okay and if you do understand and we have the indigo coming up afterwards if you do understand what this year and I'm glad that this card deck was made so thanks again um, Patricia um, thank you so much this is just so beautiful um, the blueness is the alien with the crystal and uh, if you look at the star um, the, 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 the flood of stars in the sky it is just as it says star seed so um, they will be coming in okay it's like they're saying you know get ready we'll be coming in because um, the year 2019 is when a lot of you your star seeds you're going to be connecting with your star seed and this is going to be extremely extremely good because you're going to be connecting with your star seed family okay you're going to be aware of um, who they are and how this is working for you so the first one is star seed then we have the indigo child so a lot of uh, indigo children are going to be awakening because they they have information their um, DNA structure is different than the people who were born 50s in the 50s 60s and 70s these um, indigo child they all came in at a certain time okay they've been they've been coming in and they're helping um you indigo kids can be fined as are they are they kids or um uh or whatever they put them na their names on their on this planet okay but they're just very special they are more intelligent than most of us on this planet okay so the indigo is the number one the star seed was the fool going on the new journey. The indigo is like the magician because they are like magician. They can touch you and take whatever the energy, whatever the negativity. That's why they're indigos. Okay, beautiful. I princess she comes up the higher self. That's why I always tell people about the into the intuition is the energy of the higher self. Okay, so when I say the 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 high princess is here um 
then I mean the I self because that the I self leads you to listen to your own intuition okay you work you all work with the I self and I'm gonna call them in because they're coming in now so they're guiding me to do something now at the back of the box this is what it looks like look at that beautiful cup of love coming from the universe so at the back of the box it says a visionary artist from Patricia um, and a metaphysic artistic and it needs to bring a new um, consciousness to the tide and the, the trials and the tests of the rooms of the Torah and this is good because this is what we need and more of this is going to be coming out weaving together the world renowned teacher delivered through um, the context of the book with the Torah traditional of the past they present a new inspiration track of the exclusive journey of self-discovery in, in the Torah the Antarctic um, symbols and meanings a work of creative inspiration and devotion to spirit the Syrians star seed Tarek is a true tool of awakening a must-have for serious Torah readers spiritual seekers and star seeds everywhere and you know again thank you very much and this is why I'm doing this now so that it's you know I just got it so I can only do this um, now so that and then gives it um, a rating Number three, the Empress Abundancy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because um, uh, people see the Empress as just nurturing, but she is the person that manifests your abundancy. So this is just a brilliant, this is wonderful. I love these cards. They're huge. Um, they're very positive, very huge. This is good because then you will understand the meaning of the Torah. This is the abundancy, okay? So we have um, number four, the reason, the reason, okay? I love this. I love this. I love this. Now, this is the emperor, okay? And the emperor is the reason. And, you know, you be, become and stand in to build your stability and your foundation is a reason why you're doing it. And your reason is... Is to bring back financial stability in your world and this is so powerful this is so good okay okay we have guidance guidance and this is this is absolutely absolutely brilliant this is the number five energy which is connected to the elephant and this is what I've been saying to a lot of people because we're living in a different in a new century a different timeline it is time that we remove like the air fan people do not understand I always tell people the air fan because that is what it is it's organization institutes that you go to for guidance it can churches it can mosque whatever it is so thank you for doing this it is the guidance okay I love this love this love this the energy of the lovers is here energy of the lovers powerful wonderful energy energy of the lovers is here this is good this is um very 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 positive the energy of the lover is very positive it's unique um it comes back with all different colors the rainbow ray which is love the pink the green for elin the blue and this is powerful with energy of the lovers okay the chariot comes back with a chariot we can never change that but the chariot has five horses okay I, I I really love this and it has a Taj Mahal an Indian and and this is good because we we all need to um, you know mix it up we all need to mix it up we all need to mix it up bring in positive energy we really really all need to mix it up and bring in positive energy and this is good the energy of strength come with the energy of the tiger um, this is good this is positive this was one of the energies on the box um, this is really really positive this is um, really powerful 
um, positive the hermit comes back with reflection thank you thank you now people understand um, the the, the Tarak reflection and this is why I always say that um, the hermit and the angman can have the same energy vibration because it's all about reflection but the hermit is not really uh, only if a reflection the hermit is bringing light to you showing you light in the way and bringing in a wisdom just like the eye princess okay the great wheel oh my god this is just so powerful this the great wheel is the cosmo the wheel of fortune the great wheel this is just so powerful so positive so wonderful it is really really pushing you to the last place and this is um so good justice and it is it is the number 11 oh, only the deck that i use divine justice divine justice okay and this is another thing and i love this deck already the divine justice okay what this is doing is something needs to be balanced with the universe something you need to balance a situation and this is so powerful so justice is divine justice is a clearing of karmatic situation okay and people are not aware of that so love the hangman it's in the pendulum the hangman look at this this is beautiful it is powerful it is so so powerful the energy of the angman is coming in and it is so so powerful this is just so powerful it's very very positive transformation and this is this is this is just brilliant I'm loving this this is just brilliant as you realize the soul leave the body and it goes to the light okay the soul leave the body and it goes to the light okay and this is good to explain people what is that that is not it's just that um, you're no longer on this physical plane but your spirit lives on so this is good the alchemy uh, 10 a tower no the balance the balance okay so this is the energy and it comes in a fire I'm a little but yeah because I would I wouldn't I, I would use the alchemy for um, I would use I personally use the alchemy for the magician because the magician works with Archangel Metatron and it's the alchemy but I love this it's just my personal opinion the shadow side we have yep yeah, this is good this is good this is what I've been um, um, teaching people the devil is the energy of the shadow side. The devil is the energy of the shadow side. The devil is the energy of the shadow side. Okay? So this is good. Wow. Love this. Love this. Love this tower energy. Love this tower energy. Isn't it brilliant? Yes, it is. This is powerful. Love this um, tower energy. Then we have the energy of the star. What is the energy of the star? Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It has um, the Egyptian um, God. It has the Egyptian God. Isn't that beautiful? In the middle from the solar system, the, the stars. This is this is what I'm trying to explain to people. Okay? And now it's really the Luna, the moon. Act, act, krachtig. Is, 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 is zeer krachtig. Echt krachtig. Then, have, um, then we have um, the solar deity, the sun. Deity. Deity. 
So these two, the sun and the moon, and this is why I do the, the, the moon readings, the sun and the moon. So you see, it's the Luna and the solar deity. The solar deity is the sun, is the source of all things. Isn't these two brilliant? It's the most, yeah, it's, it's a very, very, I am blown away from this deck. I'm, I mean, these decks are coming in. I'm so blown away. Okay, now. And this is the most powerful part because then we're going to be splitting up karma. Whenever there is just there's um judgment, it's karma. Judgment is karma. Judgment is you being repaid your karma. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Finally, someone gets it. The world ascension. This is so powerful. I'm just so loving this deck for you guys. This is the energy of the world. It is ascension. Okay, it is ending your karmatic death, ending your divine um, karma, and moving forward on a positive so this is this is just so fantastic this is so good I'm I'm really really loving um, this deck so the world is the ascension and if you look how beautiful can this be no both leave my flat my part my plant he's having my plant now we have the ace of crystal so the ace of crystal because we're figuring this out together as we go along because I just got the deck and I just decided um, so we we chalice is here um, crystal so I would think the orbs would be the money I would think I'm not sure so let's see okay the mineral corner the four suits the suits of the crystal is the pentacles okay 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 I can I I, I, I understand that it's from the heart materialistic okay so compounds to the element of the heart in the in the value of a bow stop in the value of system and tradition of the past the suit of the Pentacles of the Tauric had to do with the one mate okay position business wealth and aspect of the physical health so this is good using the crystal and this is how it looks the ace of crystal the ace of crystal the ace of crystal yeah okay that's a different touch star seed who understand that you can never um, possess enough life is about being enough this is the most difficult of the suits embracing abundancy without being addicted to it and this is what 2019 is going to be teaching you guys okay is so you know embrace it but don't be addicted to it okay the two of crystals what is our seeking and this is what I always said to people whenever the two of Pentacles comes up is that you need to make a decision because you're seeking to find something okay you need to make a decision because you're seeking to find something the archetype of this energy is the womb like it's very womb like okay if you notice what it is it's a beautiful beautiful deck because as you look behind there is so much going on in this deck you know there is just the spirit guides the yin and yang because this is a yin and yang this is a this is the lighter part and this is the darker part it's the yin and yang okay what do we have here we have the Holy Trinity, number three. It's working together. Okay? See? The energy of the triangle. So I'm always, always, and 
always at my office if even I'm because um, I work with numbers so you know what's my profession I work with numbers and I'm always I'm listening to a client on the phone and I'm, I'm always drawing triangles and now I realized that I was working with the um, 33 energy I have 33 energy vibration I was vibrating on the church tree vibration and it's like every time I was doing the triangles I was awakening myself because it's the year afterwards I started my spiritual journey so the triangle is the only Trinity and a lot of people are not aware that you can visualize yourself a triangle over you visualize yourself that you're standing in the middle of a triangle and that's also because that's the only Trinity protecting you okay the three of um, crystal is always uh, you working together with others and this is so powerful now we have the four of crystal the energy of the four of crystal this is good that means if you look at um, what is happening in this picture there is fire there's raging fire behind this person and yet still this person sit between four um, post of crystal and this is so brilliant look here is a raging fire but yet still he has the comfort and the faith and hope that he's spiritually protected and he's sitting between the four poles of the crystal and being protected and wonderful 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 done wonderfully done we have the five of crystal and this shows someone being lost someone being alone and this is what I've always said feeling hardship feeling alone feeling left out in the cold it's like she's in um, this, um, this this cave just being left out in the cold you know and look at that but there is and if you guys can see there's a beautiful house over the other side okay but she is is, is is looking at the past and not looking at what is in front of her beautiful deck beautiful deck six of Pentacles another wonderful deck and it's saying exactly what is the energy of the the, the, the six of Pentacles the six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving it's about balancing out the scales of giving and receiving and this is so powerful this is so wonderful I love this deck it's very 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 powerful seven of Pentacles the seven of Pentacles is that and it depicts exactly what these the, the, the normal Torah deck means it means you have built a project already and you're working on another project so you're totally focusing on this new project so it's always about projects the seven of Pentacles is always about project it's always about you working on something to be something to betterment for humanity and this is what you're doing and this is good now we have the eight of crystal which is the eight of Pentacles the eight of crystal the eight of Pentacles and this is wonderful because you're finally putting the finish touch on a project that is complete and now you're about to put it on the market you're about to let people know what it's all about this is really really nicely done and what I love about this is the Scottish I, I, I just love the Scottish because they always comes up the Scottish and the Irish always comes up especially with the, the crystal deck and look at the back the, the triangle and I'm always oh, I always love triangle okay so we're looking the nine of crystal oh my god this is this is so the nine of Pentacles is always you have all that you need you're receiving more in whatever is coming in is coming in a lot whatever is coming in is coming in full force a whole lot so when Ever the nine of pentacles is in a reader and I said money is coming in and it's coming in a lot it's gains this is a lot of gains that is coming in okay and she's surprised at this gains that is coming in she's very very surprised and we reached the ten of crystal look at that ten of crystal is financial stability 
you have all you need and there is no worries you have you have the the, the hair is is lined with white crystal and here you have all the different crystal this is a beautiful garden you're nicely dressed you're feeling it you're living the life you're living the levita and this is positive such a positive so that was the crystal the ten the pentacles so let's look at the energy of the cups and they can't tell me that this is not the cups it's the energy of the chalice how beautiful can this be as you look here you can see two hands and they're in blue blue is always healing blue is always healing blue is always balancing out something and asking for healing to come in and this is the most beautiful beautiful ace of cups really really positive okay then we have the two of chalice always I said it can be love in business or love okay so it can be in your private life and it can be in your business life now as you look at this this is not a soulmate relationship this is just a connection between two people three of cups a wonderful energies and if you look this is so beautiful because the people are behind having fun it's a wedding and there is huge celebration it's a wedding there is huge celebration this is powerful this is one of the best cards in um, that is coming up now we have the energy of the four of cups now this energy I love this energy of the four of cups is that you think you have lost everything you're looking up this on the star and said why is this happening to me but yet still three cups is behind you and here this dolphin is saying hey Paul isn't lost come on come on come on come on you know just look behind you what is there and look at what I'm giving you they're not lost they're not gone they're they, you know you haven't lost it you know stop uh, get yourself out of uh, what you're doing and this is good five of cups so this is really the depiction of the five of cups because there are three cups in fell in the water this mucky water and you know she doesn't want to go in the water because she doesn't know what is there what is going to be coming out so this is exactly the energy of the five of cups now we have the six of cups a wonderful thing and I always say to people the six of cups is past life family it's about kids it's about your cousin it's about your sisters it's about your relatives about your father it was about your extended family and this is it six of chalice look at this exactly what I always say to people now the seven of cups is beautiful oh my god this is the universe saying look at these I am giving you seven different chances and uh, seven different choices choose one of them but make sure you choose the right one you know it's not a, don't you know don't choose the get rich scheme just make sure you choose the right one and this is just so powerful eight of cups really 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 nicely done this man is in the desert he sits in the desert and all that is there he sits in the desert all that is there he sits in the desert he has these beautiful cups but there's no one to sell them to there's no one to sell anything to and he's walking away and he's going towards the sea because he's going to find a pass by ship to get on to get somewhere else very nicely very nicely thought about now this is one of my best cards the ace of cups and the nine of cups whenever that comes up in a reading I'm like okay ladies and gentlemen no need to worry so the nine of cups is here powerful positive energy it's it's the it's the wish card and there is the universe there is the Sun bringing me these nine rays and saying to you make your wish because it's granted wonderful powerful then we have then the ten of, of Pentacles and if you the ten of cups 
And if you look at the energy of the Ten of Cups, the most beautiful thing, because what it's saying is that everything is grounded in love. If you notice the energy of the rainbow and its purification from the water, so the family is connected, everyone is happy, and this is going to be Christmas. So try and find this energy around you because this is going to be very, very wonderful to do. Okay, it's going to be very wonderful. Now we're finished with the cups and we're moving on to the orbs. Now, if we have fire and we have swords, the orbs. I think the flam is the fire, so the orbs is the hair. And I, th yeah, I think the orbs is going to be the the hair. Oh my God, I don't have to use my glasses. Okay, so, and to be sure, and I know the orbs is the hair sign because the orbs is um hair, but the flam has to be the fire sign. If they change it around, I would not understand. Okay. This, the 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 suit of the orbs is the sword. Ha <laughs> ha! I kind of figured that one out. Okay, so it's the corresponding to the element of air transformation. The suit of uh, um, the swords from the tradition preparation to the process of the thoughts and its communication. So it's the orb. You know, I'm so happy that she was blessed that. Because whatever is happening, I know that from 2019, from the zodiac year of 2019, a lot of people are going to be feeling different, seeing different things. Don't be afraid. There's nothing wrong with you. This is healing. This is good. And if you notice how many dolphins comes up in this card, because the dolphins, by looking and listening to them, they heal you and they deliver messages to you okay so this is good the two of orbs is the two of swords and I love this because it's a two of orbs swords who the hell use swords in these time only with the games but for the rest of it the two of orbs this is the period that we're coming in we're gonna start seeing orbs we're going to be start seeing different things in the sky times are changing the three of orbs Thank you for changing this because trust me when I have like a fright when I see the three of swords because I know it's a loss it's a break it's an ending and and thank you for making them the orbs four of orbs the energy of the four of orbs isn't this better than the four of swords you can see this person sitting in meditation and balancing out themselves and this is so good now all right five of orbs we have um, um this is um a star seed okay this is a star seed this is beautiful the six of orbs six of swords you're moving away you're going to better shore and I'm not sure if you guys are seeing this because sometimes my third eye is open so I can see things look at this there is a diagram in this picture that is um, information for the fortune fifth dimension people this is a hidden information um, revealing secrets to you okay look at this do you see it it's like a solar system it can be a solar system for each and every person they're going to get their information isn't that wonderful I should check all because this is a series this is a Syrians so they will have information in credit whoever have done these cards are very good yet yeah, the other information was here there so each deck each card deck there are even informations 
that it's gonna but this is the most beautiful wow oh my gosh this is like a crop circle there it's like a crop circle all crop circles on this planet was awakening um, mother hurt but awakening us as humanity that's why so many people were so attracted to the crop circles okay the seven of orbs I love this this is beautiful absolutely beautiful this is really beautiful the energy of the seven of orbs is absolutely beautiful the seven of swords is always just deception people trying to get away with things and that sort of a thing the eight of orbs eight of swords see she's not seen what is in front of her she's in the middle of things and she's not seen all these orbs around her and I think I found I found his skin very very positive very good nine of orbs you know it's as if she feels trapped Look at this one. It's as if she feels trapped. I can even see myself in the card. Isn't that good? Oh, it's my. Is it? Is there someone behind me? Okay, we have the ten of orbs. I love this deck. I swear, I love this deck. It's like you can't go any lower because all the orbs are, you know, nearly touching your back. You're laying on your stomach. There is no way. Thank you. Thank you. Because this, that ten of swords was just something I see it on my whole stomach and I can't, I can't do anything. But it's always the, you know, seeing the ten of swords is that you can't go any lower than that. And that's why sometimes. I, there's some decks that I should read in the negative but there's some decks that is the energy is not for because these decks don't have to be in the reverse to read reverse cards because the like this is one of the negative cards in the deck this is like knowing that you know someone has just stabbed you in the back that sort of a thing now we're going to the phlegm and this is um, a good time to call upon Sirasmus Bay. Um, he is the bringer of the Ascension Flame. Sirasmus Bay. He. Um, this is uh, Sirasmus Bay. Is the bringer of the Ascension Flame. Sorry, thank you. Okay, I was. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I show you what I'm communicating with. Okay, so Cerismus Bay, um, <laughs> Cerismus Bay, um, has the energy and brings the white ascension flame. This is yellow and orange. The 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 and this is the Ace of Wands. Okay. This is the ace of wands. This is just fabulous. Anything with the ace, it's one. It's always the form of that message coming from the universe. The tway of flam. And look at that. Those are the eyes and the world. So it's as if you're, you know, you the decision, the eyes and the world. And this is why I always say a lot of people give a lot of meaning over the two of wands. The two of ones, and I've studied this with, um, there's a lady, she wrote a book. And everything she says, I'm looking at the situation, and it's always, the two of ones is always an offer coming in. It's always some, it's always a door opening, a portal. So if you notice this, and this is nicely done, it's always a door opening, it's always a portal. Look at this, always, it's duality. It's duality it's peace it's duality always it's, and, and if you listen to my readings every time I see the two of ones an offer is coming in or a portal is about to open for you 
The Three of Wands. Another brilliant, brilliant card is that you decide to walk through the portal and you're moving forward to something better because whatever that was behind, the two of um, flames comes up where you walk through it and there's one out there that they're asking you reach for the star this is like reaching for the star so um, sometimes some people says okay so the portal was there and so you walk through that and you're going for that next um, one um, once you know that next new beginning because you got an offer with the, the two and then you're going for that one and this is a really good depiction of this beautiful day beautiful day the four of flame the and and this is it the four of fl flames the floor four of flames is always the the energy of uh, a celebration there is going to be party there is going to be you you're going home baby you know you're going home whatever is happening you are going on you know this is going to be um very 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 positive the five of flames is here the five of flames this is the five of ones but there is a depictment i'm trying to see this good where people are trying to keep the light burning okay people are trying to keep the light burning they're trying to keep the light in the darkness now the six of flame which is a wonderful this is a victory look at the way he holds that that is a victory so you have all the five around it and then one comes up the victory and this is good I always tell people the six of ones is the energy of victory okay now we have the seven of flames the seven of ones where you know you find who you are you're standing you know and at the confidence and you you know the the, the the danger is there the challenge is there but you stand above it and you're saying I see you but I'm standing above you wonderful deck wonderful wonderful deck the eight of ones it's like things are coming at fast pace if you notice how that is things are coming at fast pace and I always tell people it's like things are coming at fast paces and text message I'm seeing text message and email and um, like people in business it's coming at fast pace okay and this is good really really positive the nine of flame and if you notice he's at the foot of the pyramid nine of flame uh, of flames He's at the foot of the pyramid, but he's protected by the pyramid. Whatever is behind there, the pyramid is protecting him. And this is what I'm saying. He's protected and he's ready for anything that is about to come out. And this is going to be good. The Ten of Flames. Oh my God. The Ten of Flames. So the Nine of Flames is a protection, but the Ten is that you have the nine to light so you have one one flame to light nine candles okay so um, this is why I always said people are carrying burdens because you have just one flame it's like think about you know the the, the, the Christian thing that God had one fish and without one fish he he feeds how many thousand people this is what it is saying okay it's so beautiful because you're seeing also myself <laughs> isn't that beautiful okay all right so my first person <laughs> who I'm going to be doing this is definitely a shaman this is definitely definitely an Indian shaman and somehow I was with the cards and then it just came out and he you know I was like yeah it's the Indian charman we need more of these things ladies and gentlemen then we can align each and every person as we awaken people on the journey 
this is just so powerful this is a very very old Indian chief this is someone who is coming from the first ascension um, the Aztec Indian um, and this is this is a shaman now um, shaman in our society and the Indian shamans are two different types because they are you have different stages with the Indians and I love I just love being with them I love spending a night at an Indian reservation because this is so powerful when whenever I go at a night at the Indian um, presentation it, it's just so powerful it's just so good so the masters of the flame is here and this is so good the master of the flame now the master of the flame would be the charmin and I'm going to use this deck as a charmin deck um, because it comes up as the master of the flame and right away the charmin so I'm going to use this deck as a charmin so the master of the flame would be the king of uh, wands okay somehow he just came up he is just so brilliant the seeker of the crystal so we need to find out so we know the master and the seeker of the crystal would be the page the seeker of the crystal this would be the page of Pentacles the seeker of the crystal now we have the seeker of the chalice is the page of cups because it's a seeker they always come with the news then we have the seeker of the orbs and the seeker of the orbs is the messenger that is bringing forward information okay then we have the seeker of the flame we have the seeker of the flame the seeker of the flame and what I'm loving with this deck so far is that every nationality is basically here. Every nationality is basically here. Because we have the Indians, the Aztec Indians. You know, this is like Peruvian. That's Peruvian um, dress or the Aztec Indians. And then we have the Taj Mahal. Adept of crystal. So the adept of crystal would be the knight of pentacles. Okay, the adept of crystal will be the knight of pentacles. These are normal real people that 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 that, that is here now. And that's why it's the Syrian deck, Star C. The adept of the um of the chalice, which is the knight of of cups the Casanova the knight of cups the Casanova then we have the adept of or of orbs and this you can see the knight of swords and they even did a depictment of the energy of the knight of swords look at that energy that is coming behind him which is so beautiful then we have the adept of flame and trust me, a lot of you ladies is gonna be happy with this one. When when I have the adept of flames, um, I'm thinking about Archangel Michael the purple. Uh, this is beautiful. It's yellow and purple, and the yellow is uh, the solar plex chakra. Archangel Uriel. And the purple is Saint Germain, and Archangel Michael also um, is on the ray of the purple ray, and Master Elmar, and the blue ray. So this is so powerful, and this is so good. And you ladies are going to be, mm. and that's how weird I am. I would choose this charmin. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. The Sage of Crystal. The Sage of Crystal. The Sage of Crystal. Um, so I'm thinking the Sage of Crystal would be the Queen. What do you guys think in the Master? Yeah, it's the Queen. The Queen of Pentacles. 
The Sage of Crystal is the Queen of Pentacles. Then we have the Sage of Chalice, which is beautiful. The Queen of Cups. Then we have the Sage of Orbs. The Queen of um, Swords. See? With the, the form of justice. Then we have the same, the sage of flame. And this is like, yes, is it yes? Uh, uh, this um, Indian god. It's like that with the ends, with all the ends and the, the Buddha thing. This is so beautiful. The sage of flame. This is the queen of wands. Okay, this is queen of wands. Now, I love this. The master of the master of the crystal look at this and it's good for people who are in crystal to get a crystal skull because there's information in the crystal skull all right I'm trying to figure this one out the master of the chalice because it's the it's the, it's the King of Cups. But why the eyes? Wouldn't it be the heart? Because the King of Cups is full of love. I'm trying to figure out why the eyes. And the last one, the Master of the Orbs. I know he. someone would have come up with a soul. And this is uh, China or uh, Japan. So there is so many multicultural um in this which is beautiful master of the only thing that i'm not understanding is the master of chalice but i would like the artist to explain this so wonderful wonderful beautiful deck i'm going to be using this soon to connect um with each and every person and i love this because this deck is consists of uh, um, crystal the kids it consists of uh, um, what do you call that now um, a lot of um, fairy tale and magic but I love the energy of the shaman I love this energy of the shaman I'm working with a shaman now and he's um, we're collaborating and really it's uh, someone you need to get um, you know a clearing from or healing from um, these shamans um are so wonderful so so wonderful ladies and gentlemen i hope you like this unveiling um from this new box um i'm wishing you a wonderful christmas um i'm wishing you a wonderful wonderful um new year and i'm saying namaste i'm out